Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First look at the headlines. Karnataka's power game reaches Goa. BJP dissidents camp at Taj Exotica. Parikar Bajaj Singh creates hangama. Says BJP MLAs are held captive by the Congress government. Police stop the Janardhan Reddy at the gate. Two Huji terrorists were staying in Goa. Goa police were aware of the fact but did not arrest them. Mumbai re Mirror reports one terrorist left for Mumbai on Tuesday. High Court orders government to file affidavit on election notification process by Monday. Opponents petition demanding a stay on election denied. Muslims to fill their panel for municipal election in Murgao. Government has used us all the time. Never solved our issues, say leaders. And now the news in detail. The rebels of Karnataka BJP are right now in Goa camping at Taj Exotica. Thursday evening witnessed chaos at the hotel gate after state policemen stopped BJP heavyweight Janardhan Reddy from entering. Goa opposition leader Manohar Parikar later barged in the hotel with hundreds of activists and media. BJP has alleged Congress of holding the MLAs captive. Yedurappa government in Karnataka faced major crisis on Wednesday. 19 MLAs from Karnataka BJP-led government withdrew their support. The political drama did not end on Wednesday itself. On Thursday, 13 dissident MLAs arrived in Goa. There was a race between Congress and BJP to grab these angry legislators. Congressman Sanjay Bandekar, Power Minister Alex Sequeira and Vijay Sardesai had reached airport to receive the grieving BJP MLAs while Rajendra Alekar, Sharmad Pai Raiturkar and his associates were also seen waiting anxiously for their party colleagues at Dabuni airport. The MLAs arrived in spice jet plane at 1.15 p.m. and were escorted by congressmen through the pantry gate in a black tinted coach. Sources inform that the vehicles carrying these guests from Karnataka were changed thrice on the way in order to dodge media. An empty coach was sent to the Intercontinental at Kankon. BJP has alleged that Congress is holding the MLAs captive in spite of the MLAs wanting to return back to the BJP. Satad and Vitalak are going want to go back. Okay. They are being held captive under Congress uh, Home Minister sitting there. Ata maja maithi pramane thay tanka bahir sartalaya police is actually stopping them from coming. What is the reason of police in the yeah. if they want to go they are free and yeah. Congress says that the Congress is not involved in the matter. Artya officer. Why? Tamore maka itle di sir. Why? Aho tan kada me apa gota. जनार्दन रेड्डी रेड्डी Okay. They are not involved, and why Home Minister is uh, Home Minister and other ministers are sitting at uh, hotel where they are. If they want to stay, let them stay. There is no problem. But then they should be free to meet anyone. You can. I am going there to meet. He is my MLA. They are my MLA. B S Yadurappa has already sacked six of his cabinet members. Karnataka Governor H R Bharadwaj has asked Yadurappa to prove his strength on 12th October by 5 p.m. But Yadurappa has himself brought down the deadline by one day and wants to face the SE test one day before to 11th October. Bureau report, Prudent Media. The two Huji terrorists who were responsible for the red alert in Mumbai on the eve of Sawad were residing in Goa. As per the Mumbai Mirror, one of the terrorists left for Mumbai on Tuesday. Goa police had the information and they alerted Mumbai police. As per the sources, the terrorists were staying in Panji for quite some time, but police did not arrest them. These are the two terrorists who put Mumbai city on high alert on the eve of Sawat. As per the information, they were planning to attack the financial capital of India. 
Intelligence reports compelled Mumbai police to immediately release sketches of the terrorists and alerted the citizens. Terrorists saw their faces flashing on TV and left Mumbai within no time. Mumbai Mirror informed that one of the terrorists had left for Mumbai on Tuesday from Goa. As per our sources, these terrorists were under the surveillance of Goa police. Additional DIG of Railway Police at Mumbai, Raj Kiljani confirmed the fact. Railway Police say, we received the information from Goa police. Accordingly, security at Dada station was tightened. One of these two terrorists escaped from Goa on Tuesday. They were supposed to meet a person at Dada station on platform number 4 at 10 am. He was supposed to come back to Goa. But as per the information by Mumbai police to mirror, they did not reach Mumbai. Nobody still knows where he got off the train. But the person who the terrorists were bound to meet is identified by the Mumbai police and they are checking on his background. Sources of Mumbai Mirror We have identified the person the terrorists had planned to meet. We are checking on his background. Yesterday evening, we had received an anonymous phone call at police control room intimating that the caller saw two persons talking to each other at Panji bus stand and one of them passed some object to the other person and told him in Hindi, Tum apna kaam karke Mumbai Ajao, Dadar mein milenge. Both of them split and went. This is what is the information which was given to police control room. Based on this information, since the matter was pertaining to Mumbai, we conveyed this information to Mumbai police control room on phone. The names of the terrorists are Karimuddin and Hazif. They were suspected to blast some religious places and hence Mumbai was on high alert since 10 September. Our principal correspondent Murari Shedia with video journalist Sushant Pal. High Court has now ordered Government and State Election Commission to file affidavit by Monday on election notification process. Opponents of Municipality Reservation had filed a petition in the High Court demanding a stay on the election process. However, court denied the stay on election. The petition filed by the opponents was heard on Thursday. There were allegations that the ward reservations are done as per the wish of ruling party MLAs. They had alleged political intervention in the reservation. BJP had alleged Congress of finishing their local leaders using their reservations. Advocate General Subodh Kantak argued that once the election notification is issued, court cannot intervene in the matter. Additional government advocate Abhijit Kamath informed that court has now ordered Government and State Election Commission to file affidavit within a week on election notification process. I a petition that I filed in the election. I have a grant for the government. I have a factual aspect of the affidavit. I have a matter of the interim relief. I have a can publish the notifications and I have a lot of details. I have a lot of money as required. Uh, notification uh, and publication uh, uh, yeah, details uh, as required by law so we have to clarify a reporter from Panji Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Sushan Pal it's time for a short break stay tuned <laughs> 